Hi everyone, welcome to Candy Stripe Colty. My name is Colton and today we are going to be trying some Ukrainian candies. Now I actually had a Russian candy episode scheduled for March. Contrary to popular belief, I plan these things ahead. However, given a certain maniacal dictator, plans have changed. So instead, thanks to the help of some amazing Ukrainian folks online, we will be focusing on two Ukrainian candy companies, Roshan and Klim, and trying some authentic Ukrainian candy. I do want to just say if you're looking to help the Ukrainian peoples in any way, candy maybe isn't the best way to do it. Instead, I would suggest supporting charities such as Doctors Without Borders or the Red Cross. I've included some options in the description for the video, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, it's about trying new candy, and the Ukrainians, I gotta hand it to them, they like weird stuff. We have some weird new candies. Stick around. Welcome back. Before we start, I just want to say, look how friggin' nice out it is. In Canada, this is nice. But we've been used to like minus, it was minus 15 two days ago. It's just like five disgusting. Once it's above zero, we're blessed. All the candy on today's episode is from a Ukrainian Canadian company called U Creations. They have a great selection, super cheap, super friendly, and it comes in this gorgeous blank box. Woo! You can just imagine what's inside. Do -do -do. Whoa! Okay, I forgot what I got as well. What's new? To start off, we have a Roshan Chocolate Caramel Bubble. This is similar or adjacent to an Aero Bar, but caramel flavored. And it's a hefty size. I think this is the size that Aero's used to be before they like kept gradually shrinking. Like every time I go to the store to get a chocolate bar, they're smaller and they think we're stupid enough not to notice. It's called shrinkage folks and it's a very real thing. Woo Take it all off for me. <gasps> That's a big chocolate bar, and it was only a couple bucks. Oh my god, look at these perfect little chocolate squares. Crack them off, just like an arrow. You can see all those bubbles inside, and this is gonna be a moment. I don't let it melt, I just chomp. It's delicious. I think for white chocolate especially, I would prefer something like this where there's a bit of flavor and it's not just like bland. It's bubbly, it's vivacious. I think I want to go on a date with it. Next up, we have Milo Jelly Balls. Milo Jelly Balls feature a bunch of cult-like children holding hands and manifesting jelly balls into existence. This honkin' package of candy was only $3. It weighs like 10 pounds. Or I'm just really out of shape. This is truly a jelly candy. It's not a gummy, it's like mush. Adorable, squishy. Mmm! These are so bright, so flavorful, and friggin' delicious. Gay or straight, you're gonna want these balls in your mouth. I can't justify the kids. Next up, we have... Woo! Crazy Bee Jelly Candy. Crazy Bee Jelly Candy is a soft, single-serve jelly candy in this adorable, crazy package. It's not sugar-coated, so it is more of a gummy, which gets me excited. And it looks like it's actually filled with something. The flavor, I think, is lemon. Woo! These are really, really good. Think Fruit Gusher meets the flavor of a yellow Starburst. I'm crazy for Crazy Bee candies. I'm psychotic. I'm delusional. I'm having a psychotic break. I'm schizophrenic for Crazy Bee's psycho candies. Next up is crabs. And there's a picture of a lobster on it. This is a cocoa and peanut filled candy. I... Don't know how I feel about this. It's very unique, definitely not something that we have over here in North America. No smell, which weirdly makes me nervous to try it. Oh, it's a hard candy. It's like a fudgy, candy-coated peanut brittle, and it's weirdly really delicious. I would recommend everyone out there go and get yourself some crabs. You'll love them. Okay, the Ukrainians are really coming through with the candy today. Everything so far has been amazing. Next up, we have Roshan Barbary Candy. Barbary is a kind of fruit that I have never tried before, but it looks like this. And this is a hard candy. 
They kind of just taste like strawberry to me. Of all the candies so far, this is probably my least favorite. I'm generally not someone that is attracted to hard candies, but we've been known to fool around every once in a while. I give it a five out of 10. It's okay, it's not bad, but not great. And we're gonna close off the show with a bonus candy. So I had only ordered those five and you creations sent me an entire extra bag with a ton of different candy in it. All these different funky sweets. Fizzy boom, we gotta do fizzy. Boom. I like that it sounds like a threat if you eat this candy. I'm expecting a full-blown explosion in my mouth. It looks like, oh, it's the color of cola. Uh-oh. This is what that shitty fizz candy should be. So flavorful. My mouth is full of foam. Oh my God, those are good. 10 out of 10. They're bomb, and they're way better than the fizz candy we have here in North America. I can't believe how good everything on today's episode was. I really didn't expect it to hit that hard. We might have to do another Ukrainian episode, folks. And I know I promised we had a big giveaway coming up uh, on last week's episode. We do still have that coming up. I'm just waiting for it to arrive in the mail. Be patient. And I think everyone watching should listen to Cher. Go buy some Ukrainian candy. <laughs>